Now we're going to work the class problem. These problems are available in Word document format in Blackboard. Go ahead and download it, print it, and work the problem along with me. Now this problem, we want to develop a naive forecast and also compute three different forecast error matches, MAD, mean absolute deviation, MAPE, mean absolute percent error, and MSE, mean square error. Now remember, naive forecast is forecast for a given time period is the actual value of the previous time period. So since we don't know the actual value before t equal to 1, the forecast can only start from period number 2. So the forecast here is 8, so that comes down there. And 10 is your forecast here. 9 is your forecast here. 11 and 10. So remember we are at this point, so that's our current time. So F sub 7 is 13, forecast for period number 7. Now the error is okay, actual sales minus forecast. So this is 10 minus 8 is 2, 9 minus 10 is minus 1, 11 minus 9 is 2, 10 minus 11 is minus 1, 13 minus 10 is 3. Now the the error can be both positive and negative. So when you add the errors in this fashion, some of the positive errors will cancel out some of the negative errors. So you expect this sum. So this is CFE is equal to 5. So you expect this sum to be close to 0. If it is not, then the forecast is said to be biased towards either the positive side or negative side. So cumulative forecast error CFE is cumulative forecast error. So this measures forecast bias. But we want forecast error measure. So we don't want the positives to cancel out the negatives, so we take the absolute value. So then the sum here is 9. So mean absolute deviation or MAD for short is 9. So how many errors are there in this 9? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5. And that gives us 1.8. Now when you take the error and divide the error, absolute error, by the actual value, then what you get is error as a proportion of actual sales. And, and, and that will give us an error measure that is free of units. So you get 2 over 10 is 0.2, 1 over 9 is 0 0.1111, and then 2 over 11 is 0 0.1818, and then 1 over 10 is 0.1, 3 over 13 is 0 0.2308 and the sum here is 0.8237. Okay. So 
So this is mean absolute percent error. M A P E, which is you take the average of this column, so 0.8237 over 5, and then you have to multiply by 100 to convert it into a percentage. So that is 16.47%. So that's the mean absolute percent error. There is one more error measure that we can compute and that is to square the error instead of taking the absolute value one a second way of not having the positives cancel out the negatives is to square it so you get four one four one and nine and this sum is nineteen so mean square error or MSE is 19 over 5 is 3.8. Statistically speaking, you have to divide by the degrees of freedom, but here we are not being statistically strict. So these are the error measures and we want these three error measures to be as small as possible and cumulative forecast errors should be as close to zero as possible.